What's happening good people? Welcome to the channel. I'm Wes aka Mr Budget Watch and today as you've seen by the title we're going to be unboxing an eBay find. Uh, so this one is very very exciting. I got a cracking deal on it um, but more on that later. Uh, so let's just uh, dive into this. I'm hoping uh, I don't actually uh, cut the, uh, the box or anything or the contents inside. It's like Christmas. Uh, yeah, quite nice, uh, nicely packaged. Uh, this isn't the original box, um, by the way. Uh, that's one of the reasons why the watch, you know, was such a uh, good price. So I don't think there's anything in that. Just get rid of this. Uh, and uh, so yeah. So as you've seen, oh really? Oh, this is uh, right. This is going to create a massive mess. Oh, yeah, oh my days. Well, the watch is there. I think I'll have a dive through that in a, in a minute because, uh, yay, well, that's the first time I've ever encountered uh, shreddings uh, in the thingy as, uh, as packing. <sighs> okay, much, much appreciated for that. Uh, let's just carefully uh, get, get into this. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that's uh, going to be fun to clean up in a uh, minute. Oh, I can see uh, the spare links. Uh, and uh, what else is... Uh, so there's the watch. You've just got a little bit of a sneak peek. I don't know if you actually uh, saw it. So by the booklet, you might actually be able to tell what this is already. It's a Seiko. Or did I put in the... Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll decide after. But anyway, it is a Seiko. So we've got links now this is another reason why um it was so affordable uh, because uh, not all the links are there luckily i have a skinny wrist so that doesn't really matter but if i ever do come to sell it on that might be a bit of an issue so as you can see no box at all again which is why it was so cheap and here is the reveal my first ever seiko monster so this is the limited, well, limited, uh, uh, limited edition. I don't think it really is. Though. I think they just make these in regular numbers and call it a limited edition. But it's the uh, Save the Ocean Monster. And I've always wanted a monster for the longest time, but I've always put it off because of, uh, you know, their price point and obviously being an affordable uh, channel. I like affordable stuff. And th you, these are usually a little bit out of my comfort zone in terms of price point. But I got this for a steal. Now, of course, it's missing a few things, uh, but that doesn't really matter because I'm hoping this one is going to be a keeper. I'm hoping. Don't know if it will be or not. I will guess I'll have to uh, spend some time uh, with the watch and um, get to think it. As for the price, this is the best bit. So retail for this, I think Seiko sells it for around 450 ish Retail, I've seen it sort of knocking around the 400 um, I think I don't know whether it's coming to like the end of its life or, or what, I'm not sure. I got this for 214 including shipping. I didn't think that was too bad at all. Uh, I didn't see it initially at first for like sub four. Um, I saw it like over 450 and I thought, wow, that's a really, really good deal. Uh, so I sort of snapped his hand off at that, really. And yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I love that dial. And I even uh, like the colour of the thing. It's like a slightly uh, off white. Did it? I mean, you guys know. <laughs> but for some reason, I don't mind it all that much. I mean, yes, I would obviously prefer... If it was symmetrical, you guys know how I am about my symmetry. Uh, but yeah, I think I can live with it. I'll see. I'll see. I, I don't know. But very, very nice. It's a bit of a chunky one, though, for me. So I don't know whether it's going to be sort of thingy for my uh, wrist. Let's give this uh, this bezel a whirl. Okay. So there's a little bit of play. A little bit loose as well, uh, I'm noticing. It's definitely not as nice as the Samurai. Uh, that I uh, reviewed a while back. Yeah, it's definitely not as nice, but it's 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 all right. It's definitely not the best Seiko bezel, but 
I don't know, let's just see if it lines up all right. It's uh, easy to use though. I mean, it seems to line up bang on. What about the indices as well? They all seem, wow, have I actually got a circle that everything lines up? That That's a rarity in itself. Well, anyway, guys, this one, uh, you know, is going to get put on the back burner um, for now in terms of like when content's coming for it again, because I've got so much uh, to do in the meantime. But this is potentially a new watch. I'll have to see, like I said, how I get on with it, how it sort of wears once I've uh, sized it up. Press clasp, Seiko in it, but you know, at least the uh, bracelet, oh, we've got a bit of a kink in it, there we go. At least it's got, has it got solid links? Yeah, it seems to have got, you know, solid links, solid end links, so it's definitely a step up, uh, but it's still not as good as, you know, that you'd get from a micro brand. But yeah, first impressions, I'm liking it, everything seems to be pretty much spot on so yeah what do you guys think uh was it a good buy or do you think i've overpaid let me know thanks for watching the video be sure to subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you enjoyed it hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads and of course follow me on social media at mr budget watch thanks again i'll see you soon